Hi everyone, welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this opportunity to minister to you through God's word. And this week we've been talking about discipline and how God disciplines his children so that we can be more fruitful in each of our lives. Here's a question that we can ask ourselves. What's eating you? Matthew chapter 6 and verse 11, the Lord Jesus is teaching his disciple, disciples to pray. And this is what he says, give us today our daily bread. In the Lord's Prayer, Jesus teaches us to ask God for our daily food, not more, not less. Gluttony is a sin of inordinate desire, the desire to please our appetites. Now the Bible's warning against gluttony are mostly indirect and there is no verse that outrightly says that gluttony is a sin. However, when we consider what gluttony is and the biblical principles that apply, our conclusion is that gluttony indeed is a sin. Gluttony is a sin because it gives too high a priority to our physical desires. Paul took care not to be disqualified from the ministry and part of that care was physical. 1 Corinthians 9.27 he says, I discipline my body and keep it under control. In 1 Corinthians 6.12 he determined that he would not be mastered by anything. Galatians 5.13, believers are not to indulge the flesh. All of this seems to indicate that gluttony or Eating in excess is wrong. In contrast to Paul's commitment to exercise control over his body, the enemies of the gospel give free reign to their appetites. Their God is their stomach. Gluttony is a sin because the Bible promotes self-control as one of the characteristics of a spirit-filled life. We are to curb our physical appetites and let them not control us. There are many things about our bodies we must control. Our behavior, our tongues, our hand, our feet, our eyes. It stands reason that we must also control our stomachs. The ability to say no to anything in excess is a godly skill and it requires discipline. The other extreme is to be so spiritually minded that we neglect our bodies by by overeating or lack of exercise. The Lord desires order and discipline in this area. God richly gives us all we need for our enjoyment and all of that includes the various delicious foods, nutritious, pleasurable foods that are available. We must thank God and enjoy our meals and we should honor God by partaking of his gifts in the right way. Here is a good verse to claim as we set our heart to overcome from the traps of the enemy. Psalms 141 says, Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. Incline not my heart to any evil thing to practice wicked works with men that work iniquity, and let me not eat of their dainties. We thank God for everything that he has blessed us with, but he also desires us to control ourselves and to walk a spirit-filled life. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you for teaching us through your word, O God. And we pray, Lord, that even as you have given us so many things to enjoy in our lives, that we will, O God, use it in the appropriate manner that will be pleasing to your sight, that our lives will reflect your glory, O God. We thank you. We thank you for all that you have done for each one of us. We give you all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.